Hey y'all, it's Sierra, and I'm back with another pick a card video. And this is going to be a pick a card reading based on how they feel about you. This is going to be the friends edition though. So after I did my first how they feel about you video, I talked to a couple of people and they said that it seemed like um, some of that could apply to some of their friendships and they were interested in me doing one specifically for friendships. So that is what I'm doing um, in this video. Now usually I have the cards turned over and you pick your pile based on the image that's on the card. But I don't want to sway anyone away from choosing the pile that's meant to them or meant for them. Um, if they feel like the image on the card is positive or negative. So I don't want people to pick piles based on if they think the image is positive or negative. So today we're going to try something new. You all can let me know which way you like it best. But we're going to be using um, chakra stones to pick our piles today. And I got these stones from one of my good friends. So I thought it would be fitting to use in this video. So I'm going to ask that you pick a pile that you are drawn to. And if you need help picking a pile, you can pick the pile that has the stone that you are drawn to. So pile number one is the Aventurine, the green Aventurine. Pile number two is the Amethyst. Pile number three is the Lapis Lazuli. And pile number four is Red Jasper. For those of you that don't know the colors of the stone, I will say them again so that way you can make sure you're picking the correct pile. Pile number one is the green Aventurine, and that's pretty obvious. <laughs> it's the green, it's in the name. Pile number two is Amethyst, that is the purple stone. Pile number three is Lapis Lazuli, and that's the blue stone. And pile number four is the red Jasper, and that's the red orange, red oranges <laughs> type stone, okay? Also, I do have a sinus infection, so I'm going to try not to cough or sneeze in this video, but just bear with me if I do. Um, so I'm going to give you all some time to pick the pile that you are drawn to. Again, this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. You'll want to use your intuition to choose a pile that you are drawn to. If you need to, take some time to pause the video until you're sure which pile you want to choose. Sometimes you might be drawn to more than one. I would try to stick with one, but if you are drawn to more than one pile, you can watch for um, either of the piles. And again, this is going to be how they feel about you, friendship edition. So I will see you all at your piles, bye. Hey, group number one, you all chose the green aventurine. Um, this is the stone. And I typically think about, um, you can use this stone for money manifestation, but you can also use it for your heart chakra since this is a um, chakra stone. The color green can represent the heart chakra. Um, just so you know, just in case you were wondering if you didn't know. And then also the image card, which I cho typically have you all choose uh, one of these cards instead of a stone. Um, this time I had it turned over, so yours was the cloud. Now the cloud can be taken as good or bad. It can represent rain, which some people see as good or bad. Some people see it as it's a rainy day, it's gloomy, I have to stay inside, it makes me sleepy and tired, I don't want to deal with it. Some people see the rain as something that is necessary and helpful because it can help plants and crops grow. It can wash away, cleanse. So it just depends on the way that you look at clouds and rain as far as how you feel about that particular thing. All right, so <laughs> I hope I'm not breathing heavy in this reading, but my sinuses are really bad right now. So 
it's kind of hard for me to breathe so hopefully i'm not breathing really heavy you might hear me taking some pauses in between talking and that's because i can't really breathe out of my nose right now now this reading is regarding how they are feeling about you so you, this is based on a particular person that you're thinking about at the time of this reading and it is a friendship reading so this is how a friend feels about you if you're wanting to know how they might be feeling about you at this time then you want to continue forward listening to this reading now the first card is regeneration so um also the number is 46 now if you add four and six together that represents 10 some people see 10 as the end of a cycle some people see 10 as sort of the beginning because it breaks down to <laughs> one so one plus zero is one so again it kind of depends on your perception when it comes to this relationship as far as what the next steps are going to be with the regeneration card that tells me that something died something got hurt something happened and then a renewal or a regeneration is either wanting to happen or has taken place so you all may have recently rekindled your friendship or this may be something that one or both of you is wanting to do at this time so i'm definitely feeling like something has gone wrong um we have the hostilities card and we also have um let me see what else triumph over troubles the eagle card frying pan trouble accusations, and butterfly a change for the better. So that's telling me that this person is wanting to renew your relationship. And they are wanting things to change for the better. They are wanting the situation that may have caused you all to have an issue or stop talking. Um, they want to use that as a stepping stone to change the relationship for the better. Now we do have the hostilities card, so it seems like there definitely was some fighting going on, but possibly more to do with verbal communication because we do have the fifth chakra um, archangel Gabriel card, which that represents the throat chakra and the throat chakra represents communication via speaking, standing up for yourself. Sometimes it can be underactive sometimes it can be overactive so if you use it too much if it's overactive it could get you into trouble <laughs> so i don't know if it was you or the other person but there definitely was some hostile communication when it comes to speaking to one another that took place and we also have the page of swords so the swords in tarot do represent communication so again i'm saying that there was something that happened between you all maybe a verbal argument that happened and this person is definitely worried about it they have anxiety when it comes to where the friendship is at or uh, your last um, argument at this time as you can see we have the nine of swords so this person cannot sleep at night they're up in their bed they have their hand in their heads it's just like they're filled with so much worry and anxiety but on top of that we also have the dreams card okay here's the dreams card and I don't know if you can see this but it says nine of s on the bottom so that stands for nine of swords so we have the nine of swords twice and we specifically have dreams so they are possibly losing sleep over not being in a good situation with you now if you don't think this applies to them then it's possible that this could apply to you this could be you in the situation you can always flip the roles if necessary but it seems like it is the other person now we also have the lovers card and the courtship card as well as the fool and we have a butterfly here in the change for the better so this person is wanting to start over when we think about courting and dating Courting is when you are trying to win someone over. It's when you first meet and you both are on your best behavior and you're first getting to know each other. So they want to essentially start over with you and they want you all to get to know each other again. With the chop wood, this just represents mundane, regular, old, everyday activities. So it doesn't have to be something extravagant um, that needs to happen 
this grand <laughs> sit down like how you see on the reality shows when people get into it and they all have to have like a sit down um, it doesn't have to be that there's small simple ways simple things that you all can do to kind of get back into each other's good graces and learn each other once again um, so that's what I got for you all so far now I am going to use my two angel decks to get some spiritual advice for you all when it comes to these relationships so I might fast forward past this part so y'all don't have to wait for me to shuffle <laughs> that's why I try to shuffle the cards beforehand this pile one please give me some advice for them regarding this relationship so we got inner child healing I'm going to do one more card. So maybe there were some insecurities. You all may have been arguing and fighting over nothing. But somebody in the situation may have had some insecurities that need to be healed within themselves. Maybe they don't trust people. Maybe they've had things happen to them as children. Um... Then we have the a year from now card. So again, this might not be something that you all get back to exactly how you all were before. Um, if there is a large enough rift in a relationship, it may never be the same, but it can never be the same meaning it's better or meaning it's worse. But it may uh, be about a year from now before you all get fully back to um, a space where you can call each other true friends or you're truly comfortable with each other again. Especially with this inner child healing because that takes time. So it could be on your part. It could be on the other person's part where or both of you where you need to look within to see what subconscious issues could be causing problems in your relationships with other people that doesn't mean you don't have you can't talk to them until a year from now that's just saying it might take that long um if both people are doing the work it could take longer it could be shorter but that's just something for you all to kind of go off of all right now when it comes to time frames again it depends on if both people are putting in the work, how much work is being put in, how much effort, and all of that. So time frames can change, but that's just um, a time frame that you can go off of if you feel like it resonates with you. All right, so that's all I have for you all. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you feel called to do so. And as always, thank you to everyone that takes the time to watch the videos and engage by liking or commenting or sharing it is definitely appreciated and i hope y'all have a good rest of your day bye group number two you all chose the amethyst stone um these are chakra stones so the amethyst is representing the crown chakra so you may be uh doing some spiritual work or working on your spiritual journey um possibly working on your spiritual gifts stuff like that and then we also have the bench card so to me the bench can represent a couple different things it can be something that's there to help you if you're tired and you need to take a seat sit down catch your breath um of course when we think about a bench in sports it's not necessarily a good thing if you are riding the bench as they say so it again just depends on how you look at it but i feel like in this sense, the bench is something that is helpful. Everyone needs a break sometimes. Okay, so it's there to lend. <laughs> it's there to help you if you need to take a break. So this reading is about how this person feels about you. So how the person that you are thinking about at this time feels about you, in particular friendships. Okay, so we're going to be talking about how a particular friend may feel about you. Now, I do have to give a disclaimer. I might be breathing a little bit heavy. It may, I might take like <laughs> little pauses 
in between talking and that's because I have a sinus infection right now and I can't really breathe through my nose so hopefully this video is not like me panting the whole way through okay but give me a little bit of grace all right so we're starting off with Treasure Island and Orphaned and then we also have Man with Corn sorry man holding a coin <laughs> and then um third chakra archangel shamuel i don't know how to pronounce that one and then we have resolute and the picture on this last card um resolute right here um it states this is david thanking god after the death of goliath and this also represents the seven of wands okay so Seven of Wands can represent the need to defend yourself. With all of these cards combined together, what I'm showing as far as how this person feels about you, they definitely definitely feel like you were there to help them when they were down. When they may not have been able to defend themselves, you may have been the person there to defend them. When they were feeling lonely and um, like no one was there for them, you were one of the few people that was there for them so that would make sense as far as the bench being something that is like a crutch to help you to allow you to sit down and take a break you were like a bench or a crutch for that person now what i'm seeing is this person may be a little bit worried about you possibly leaving them behind because you are starting to do more of the things, accomplish more of the things that you set out to accomplish in life. You're starting to move towards the career that you want. You may be in a new romantic relationship or maybe you have a romantic relationship that has been taken to the next level. For example, a boyfriend becoming a fiance, something like that. The reason why I'm saying that is because we have the man holding the coin, <laughs> which could be you helping the other person, but it could be also you in a more, um, in a relationship with more of a stable person. This doesn't have to be a man that you're with, but somebody who's stable and that's willing to provide you with stability. And then we also have the 10 of cups, which is the ultimate happy family card. Um, so you could be starting a family. And this person might feel like they're going to be left behind or left out in the cold by you. Or this could represent you are just moving towards a lot of the goals and the career and the things that you're wanting to accomplish in your life. And that's why we have the third chakra, which I believe is the solar plexus. <laughs> um yeah we have the sun here. So that just represents you basically using your... Um, life force energy to move towards the things that you want um, becoming inspired and actually working towards the goals that you want so this person might feel a little bit left out because you were sort of like a savior to them in their life like a crutch like I was saying they might be afraid that they can't walk alone without your help we have the eight of wands or I'm sorry the eight of cups here so as you can see, somebody is walking away and there is a cup that looks like it's missing. So they feel like they would be like missing a piece of them if you walk away and leave them. We also have the in need of help, assistance and guidance. Parting of ways in either romance or business or new creative ideas, new ventures and a fresh start. So hand, broken ring and sunrise. And then we have the nine of pentacles. So this person may be afraid to just be independent and be on their own. The nine of pentacles is somebody who is very independent, usually represented by a single woman, but you can be either gender, but it's somebody who has pretty much everything that they need and they pretty much got it on their own. So they might feel like afraid to be on their own. They might feel like they cannot be successful without you by their side at all times okay we have the poverty card treasure island orphaned 
So that just is pretty clear to me that this person is scared that now you are doing more and more on your own. Maybe you're becoming more independent like this nine of pentacles and you're not, maybe you're not having as much time to talk to them on the phone or spend time with them because you have a lot of projects or different things that you have going on for you within your life. So... We don't have the devil card or anything here, so that's pretty good. This might not be to that point yet where it's a codependent relationship that's going to try to hold you back. <laughs> I am seeing a slight bit of codependency or this person being a little bit too dependent on you. So they just have to be okay with going out on their own. They might need some reassurance from you that just because you have things going on in your life, that doesn't mean you're going to totally abandon them. However, in some cases, not everybody is meant to go with you to the new levels that you're meant to go to. So that is dependent on your particular situation because, again, this is a group reading. So you want to make sure you apply it to your life how you see fit. Now, I am going to get two angel guidance cards from the two angel decks that I have the angel answers and the angel guide so I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle now I might speed this up or cut it out because I don't like <laughs> making y'all wait for me to shuffle cards that's why I have them laid out but anyway let's see all right so we have take charge in action so I feel like this is saying that this person needs to start taking charge of their own life and stop depending on you to make certain things happen for for them or feeling like they need you to be their crutch. This might have to be like a talk that you have with them. <laughs> I guess as gentle as you can. Um, and I just want to get one more card from the angel answers. What advice do you have for those that are meant to choose pile number two regarding this friendship? Okay, and we have the don't stop card. So they don't want you to stop what you have going on for yourself. They want you to keep on working towards your goals. Don't let anyone else hold you back. Don't let guilt about where someone else is in life hold you back. Keep reaching for the stars. Keep going for what you want to go for. If that person is meant to be with you on the new levels that you're going to, then they will be there. If they're not doing the work that they need to do in order to get there, then they might not be there. Unfortunately, that is what happens when we start to become more enlightened and we start to um, actually work towards the things that we want in life and start to become more and more successful. Sometimes you end up losing people, unfortunately. Hopefully this is not one of those cases. Like I said, it doesn't seem like it's to that point yet. So this person may not have even expressed this to you yet or you may have picked up on it by some of their actions even though they may not have said anything to you yet. But that's what I have for you all at this time so hopefully that resonated with you um also if you feel called to do so please feel free to like share and subscribe to this channel i do appreciate everyone who has subscribed and everyone who has taken the time to engage by liking sharing and commenting on my videos it is greatly appreciated and i hope you all have a good rest of your day bye hey group number three you all chose the lapis lazuli and since this is blue, it is representing the throat chakra. So you might be getting some communication from the person that you're thinking about soon, or maybe y'all have had a recent conversation about your feelings towards one another. But this is a reading regarding how this person feels about you. So you'll want to have a particular person in mind as you're watching this video. And, um... I do want to give a disclaimer, um, I might be breathing a little bit hard in this video. Hopefully it doesn't sound like me panting, but I have a sinus infection. I can't breathe out of my nose right now, so I'm going to try to get through this 
um, no coughing, no sneezing, and hopefully not panting like a dog. So y'all give me a little bit of grace here when it comes to that, please, and thank you. Okay, so your symbol for your reading is the flower. Flowers typically represent good things. So this seems like it's going to be a definitely a uh, positive reading just based on the fact that it's starting off with a flower bouquet. So they can represent, flowers can represent a couple different things. Romance, friendship, um, celebration, thankfulness. Um, they're usually something that's good um, unless it's like flowers for like a funeral or something like that. But I'm getting a good vibe so far. So we are starting off with the peace card and serendipity. So this person definitely feels like you all are in sync with each other and they feel very peaceful when you're around. They like your energy. Um, they feel like it's just not a lot of chaos when you all are dealing with each other. They may have had other friendships with people that are didn't necessarily go as smooth or maybe they might fight a lot or argue a lot but they don't really feel that way with you we have so many good cards here oh my goodness cornucopia the sun it's like they feel like they hit the jackpot they feel like they have everything that they need in their relationship with you this almost seems like kind of a romantic reading even though this is specifically for friendship so this could be a friend that may want to be more than a friend um we have the sun so they just feel joyful and happy when they're around you and then we also have the mexico card which represents the ten of pentacles this is the past life deck so um some of the cards represent certain nationalities or um, certain areas and certain time frames. So I don't know if you or this person is from Mexico or has Mexican heritage, but it also represents the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm gonna go with that because that's gonna apply to the majority of the people in this reading. The Ten of Pentacles represents stability. So they feel very stable with you. They feel like you all have a very stable relationship. And as a matter of fact, we have that twice because we have the Ten of Pentacles here as well. This can represent stable family life. This can represent inheritance. This can represent financial stability. Something that's going to last for generations and generations, like generational wealth. So they feel like this is a friendship or situationship. I'm going to say situationship. Even though this is for friends specifically. Just because some of the cards here. Are making it seem like this person might want to be more than friends with you. Or maybe you all are in a situationship. Where it's not defined as a friendship or a relationship. But somewhere in between. So this person feels very at home and very stable with you we have the sun again that's the sun twice we have a lot of cards twice okay we have the rose card romance is in the air we have the vase card secret admirer so that along with the throat chakra stone maybe they haven't told you verbally that they might might have some romantic feelings towards you now if that does not apply to you just leave that where it is i feel like for those that this applies to you will know you probably picked up on it but you weren't necessarily sure you should know if this applies to you i don't think it would be like a big secret or anything like that so <laughs> we have tent temporary situation and affairs with family with your family so i don't know if they feel like your family might not approve of your relationship um or it could be that they don't want this to be a temporary friendship and they see you all being in it for the long haul but there could be some family issues that might come in the way of your relationship with this person we also have the Toil and Labor and Depression card. And the Depression card also represents the Ten of Wands. So just having this heavy burden. So maybe they have this burden on them. They might not be feeling too happy or they may be a little bit depressed. If they are wanting more from you out of the friendship, maybe they feel 
they are putting more into the friendship than you are. Maybe they feel like they want to be friends with you and you don't necessarily want to be friends with them, but they just still love to be around you. And, um, hold on, let me turn my phone off. We have the toil and labor card. So they may feel like it's hard to get your attention. Um, they may be doing different things to try to get your attention and it seems like you're not really paying them as much attention but they are feeling that you're worth it they feel like you're worth all of the work that they are putting in we have the six of wands so they feel like on top of the world with you they feel like um victorious they want to be victorious in the situation they want to win you over and they feel like you're a person that gets recognized as just a good person overall so there might be like competition there may be several people that want to be friends with you you may be more in the spotlight than they are um so that might be a little bit intimidating to them so far it seems like um they have very positive feelings towards you so i do want to get to angel guidance cards um just to see if there's any advice for you all regarding this relationship. So I'm going to take some time to shuffle the cards. I may um, speed this up because I don't like to make y'all wait for me to shuffle. That's why I usually shuffle them beforehand and then I turn them over right before I turn the camera on. All right. So for those that are meant to choose pile number three, what advice do you have for them regarding this friendship? We have ask and receive. So if you have questions about how this person feels about you, they are definitely willing to give you the answers that you're looking for. And we got the yes card. <laughs> so if you have been wondering if you've had a particular question on your mind about this person or your relationship with this person, the answer is yes. Okay, I don't know what that question could be. <laughs> I have no idea. Let me see if we can get another card. Just to see. Because that seems to apply to a small group of you. Any more advice for those that are meant to choose pile number three regarding their friendship with this person? And we have healing energy. Okay, so this person may be in your life to help you heal from some things, possibly if you've had some issues with your family members or you may be in their life to help them heal from some things especially if there's like depression and family issues going on so this pile seemed to be very specific <laughs> like for a smaller group of people so if it resonated please feel free to let me know in the comments that's all i have for you all right now i hope you enjoyed this reading please feel free to like share and subscribe if you feel called to do so and i definitely appreciate all of those who have subscribed who have engaged by liking and commenting and sharing my videos it is much appreciated and i hope you all have a good rest of your day bye a group number four, you all chose the carnelian, which represents the sacral chakra. And the sacral chakra can represent passion, creativity, things of that nature. And then you also have the sphinx for your image card. So when I think about the sphinx, I think about ancient Egypt, of course, ancient knowledge, alchemy, the magician, learning new information, opening up new doors when it comes to wisdom, things of that nature. Okay, so we are starting off the reading with the fork in the road. Oh, I'm sorry, I do have a disclaimer. <laughs> so I have a sinus infection right now and I can't really breathe out of my nose. So I might be breathing a little bit hard in this video. Y'all are gonna have to excuse me for that. 
Um, I'm going to try to get through it without coughing or sneezing. So just so y'all know, if it sounds like I'm breathing hard, that's why. All right, so again, we're starting with the fork in the road. Breathe. <laughs> that's funny. I was just talking about breathing. Um, new life. Angel of Strength and Caring Connections. Okay, um, so I feel like again with the Sphinx, Fork in the Road, New Life, and Breathe, it seems like you are becoming a little bit more enlightened when it comes to spirituality. You may be um, stuck between religion and spirituality, or you may be changing your spiritual practices even if you aren't religious something like that so you're kind of trying to figure out um where to go with that um and for the circle cards we have hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally gong an exciting event cat a two-faced friend uh-oh <laughs> um and then we have adjacent possibilities and before christ now this before christ also represents the high priestess now we have the high priestess and the sphinx so that's definitely telling me that you're going to a new level when it comes to your spirituality and the friend that you are thinking about as you are watching this video may not necessarily agree with you you all may be going on two different paths when it comes to spirituality they might not agree with you so this could be causing a rift in your relationship or maybe you're on the same path but you are becoming enlightened a little quicker than they are you are uh, progressing along your journey a little quicker than they are so they may feel a slight envy about that um with the seven of pentacles i feel like you may find yourself defending your beliefs or they might find themselves defending their beliefs because you all may be going on two separate paths when it comes to either religion or spirituality so they may feel sad um or like they're losing you because to some people these sorts of things are a big issue if you don't agree for example politics and religion some people don't know how to be friends with people who have different views when it comes to those types of things so you all may be going through this right now with either family or friends however this is specifically about friends okay with the adjacent possibilities all these doors you might be wanting to go in this door and they might be wanting to go in this, these doors to them it may not make sense to them why this door is on the ground. <laughs> they want to go out the traditional doors. You want to go down this route, even though it's like, why would a door be on the ground and open that way? They might not understand the way that you think anymore. So this could be a problem for you all in this relationship. So if y'all are having issues right now, that could be why so we have the caring connections you might also be making new connections with people that are more on your level when it comes to um spirituality or religion or whatever this thing is that is causing a divide between the two of you um we have exciting events so i feel like you are excited about learning new things you're excited about the different things and doors that are opening up to you as you become more enlightened. And we have the Wheel of Fortune card. So they may feel like you have changed. You're not behaving the way they expected you to behave. You're not agreeing with them on everything. This is causing a problem, even if it's not religion or spirituality. Maybe y'all are just going different routes in life, period, and it has nothing to do with that. It's making them feel sad. It's making them feel defensive. With this high honor card, I feel like things are going well for you. New, Like I said, new doors are opening up for you. Whatever you have changed um, in your life is causing more opportunities to come your way. And with this two-faced friend card, they might be a tad bit jealous about it. Or they could feel like you're being two-faced. Um, they might feel like you feel like you're better than them because you have all these different things going on for you. You are becoming more enlightened. Maybe um, not in a spiritual sense, maybe in an education sense. Like maybe you just graduated or you're in school and they didn't go to school. I mean college. Um, stuff like that. 
All right, so I do want to get two angel guidance cards for you all. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle them now. I might speed this up because I don't like to make y'all wait for me to shuffle cards. Um, let me see. We have the Holy Love card. So for some of you, this definitely does have to do with religion. They might feel like you don't love Jesus or you don't love the Lord or you don't love Muhammad or whoever <laughs> um, when it comes to religion because you might be going a different way. For those that are meant to choose Kyle for what advice do you have for them regarding their friendship with the person they're thinking about? We have the within the next few weeks card, so you might get some communication from them within the next few weeks telling you how they feel, or there might be some significant event. Hopefully you're not finding out in the next few weeks that they've been talking behind your back. <laughs> and we have perfect timing. So. Everything that needs to be revealed to you will be revealed to you in perfect timing. You becoming enlightened or moving towards a new direction as you are is happening in the perfect timing for you. So not everyone is meant to come to certain realizations all at the same time. You might start delving into something new and your friend might not be willing or ready to do that yet and that's perfectly fine. But just know that... If you're feeling the urge to do something or learn something new or go a different way or take a new path in life, it's happening because it's supposed to happen. You're supposed to be getting that urge at this time in your life. And it is okay if the people around you don't feel the same way. So that's pretty much what I have for you all. Hopefully that resonated with you. Um, <laughs> I tried my best to get through this video um, without having to stop too much for not being able to breathe as well as I normally can. So again, hopefully that resonated with you. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if it did. Also, please like, share, and subscribe this video if you feel called to do so. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed and that takes the time to engage by liking, sharing, and commenting. I definitely do appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye! We have the within the next few weeks card, so you might get some communication from them within the next few weeks telling you how they feel or there might be some significant event. Hopefully you're not finding out in the next few weeks that they've been talking behind your back. <laughs> and we have perfect timing. So everything that needs to be revealed to you will be revealed to you in perfect timing. You becoming enlightened or moving towards a new direction as you are is happening in the perfect timing for you so not everyone is meant to come to certain realizations all at the same time you might start delving into something new and your friend might not be willing or ready to do that yet and that's perfectly fine but just know that if you're feeling the urge to do something or learn something new or go a different way or take a new path in life it's happening because it's supposed to happen. You're supposed to be getting that urge at this time in your life. And it is okay if the people around you don't feel the same way. So that's pretty much what I have for you all. Hopefully that resonated with you. Um, <laughs> I tried my best to get through this video um, without having to stop too much for not being able to breathe as well as I normally can. So again... Hopefully that resonated with you. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if it did. Also, please like, share, and subscribe this video if you feel called to do so. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed and that takes the time to engage by liking, sharing, and commenting. I definitely do appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye!